Hi, hello everyone. Myself, Dr. Prasad Pudilam. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel, My Intuition. Continuing the class series on uh, 21 RMI 56 Research Methodology and Intellectual Property Rights uh, of Vishesha Technological University, Karnataka. Okay, so this is the third uh, video of module one. Okay, so the uh, syllabus, which is as such uh, given in the uh, university syllabus, same thing, module one. Uh, I'm giving uh, importance to the course outcome because nowadays it is it should be uh, outcome based education uh, students should learn based on the uh, whatever the outcome syllabus outcome which is given means after completing the syllabus what you will learn and how it uh, help you in your future so that is the outcome based education so course outcome also given please go through that course outcome this entire uh, syllabus uh, the reference textbook is given in the in the syllabus that is given here you can download it uh, uh, so no need of a separate uh, study material for that i am not preparing any separate study material uh, the textbook itself is there you can refer it you can download it the link is given you cannot click here link but you can type the name of the author and uh, the title you will get the pdf one which you can uh, download it I have downloaded and have gone through it many times. So then I prepared some uh, important questions based on the course outcome, uh, given course outcome, based on the revised Bloom's taxonomy and uh, the marks also given. Answer key is also given, and I'll be explaining it uh, in detail. So students, you need to take your the notebook. You need to note note down uh, the important points. Then further you have, you only have to elaborate it. So some of the points I will be explaining, some of the points I will just will be reading because there, there will not be much to explain. The sentence itself will, will be very clear to you. You can understand it. So once you, if you are able to understand, then no need of explain it again and again. So please uh, have an, uh, take a, your uh, notebook, a pen, uh, pause if, if, uh, if, uh, if I am a little bit faster. Pause the video, note down that important points uh, and further you can expand questions. Uh, I prepared the question based on this topic which is motivation in uh, uh, engineering research. So this question that is explain the various motivations that drive engineer to engage in research highlighting the diverse reasons and how these motivations influence their research pursuit. Okay, so uh, point number one that is introduction. Uh, motivation in engineering research is like a bunch of different reasons which drive engineers to explore, discover and create means to do a research. Uh, there are many different motivations, uh, different uh, reasons are there which uh, may not be the same for one person. It will be for different person, different reasons are there. Just highlighting those uh, possible uh, reasons which is given in the textbook. So when engineers, they decide to do research, they have different reasons which push them to explore the new thing like because it is interesting first point some engineer they just find a research topic very interesting fascinating because uh, they are very curious and they allow to do accept the challenges they find it as an accepting ch a challenge and they will uh, take it up and they do research because they are interested to do that okay some uh, learn the new stuff and finding the meaning in their work uh, which drives them because of their own interest, uh, they will find it uh, uh, the research. Okay, like solving a puzzle or involving themselves in an adventure. Adventurous people, they always take uh, a very good research topic, a very tough research topic, uh, which is uh, others will uh, find that if I touch that topic, I may not end up in getting a result. But uh, a good researcher, a good engineer, he will uh, find a such topic. He will uh, point out what exactly it need to be done and he will uh, do it as an adventure and he will complete that uh, task. For others, uh, it may be expecting a reward. They are motivated uh, because they may get money, they may get fame or awards, they will get praised or they will be get a high, high status job. Because of that also, some engineering students may continue their research. Now, any engineering students, engineering itself is a it's a part of a uh, research only a invention actually because you learned you have joined an engineering course because you learned the theoretical aspect you want to do you have to do engineer the future that's why you you joined uh, the engineering course that means you are as such you are a research scholar when you join engineering means you you want to you should become an inventor you should become a you are a research scholar 
okay so imagine the inventing something cool and getting a patent for it will make you rich and very famous there are many such engineers who uh, did a research or invention the patent it and uh, they become uh, very rich because of the uh, patent it may be very simple work but uh, which is not the patent it and uh, get it done okay sometimes your friends or even people you don't like can push you because of others push if your friend are into research you might also want to join research because uh, he or she is doing a research you want to be with them you want to be with uh, him or her so you also join research so that <laughs> jointly you can uh, uh, do that engineering uh, research okay so that also you can uh, one of the reason why people uh, do actual uh, research continuing the research or maybe someone you don't really get along with is doing well and you want to prove that you can also do better <laughs> okay somebody you feel that uh, somebody you challenge that uh, i am better than uh, him or uh, her that they are doing a good work so you also want to prove yourself that uh, even i can do better so you join uh, you continue research okay so even for personal fulfillment some engineers they are driven by their personal reasons okay personal reasons may be there to do they want to solve some tough problems or they want to enjoy using their uh, brains brainstorming which help their community they want to do something for their community they want to earn respect from the community or from others they may be the personal fulfillment it's about feeling good about what they want to do okay so then making the world better there are engineers who want to do more than just okay just doing a research because it's a part of your uh, curriculum you need to do a research so just for time pass you are doing a research there are some other engineers who want to do better they aim to beat what's already out there make technology better and contribute to making society a nicer place they are not believing that this is the end technology most of them they simply they use the technology they don't even blame it they don't uh, do it anything further they simply use it but others are not like that they want to challenge it they want to say that this is not the actual technology a better technology can be invented so they will uh, want to beat that whatever existing so they will uh, want to contribute to making a society in a nicer way therefore uh, for making the world better people also join research they want to honor their uh, cultural background to make their mark in history because some uh, research outcome some of the research output uh, it may be hurting their community or they will be hurting their uh, cultural backgrounds so they want to prove that uh, no even for uh, them also something the technology can be invented or it can be done therefore they will do that to make the world better it may be some extra push a mix of reason it can also motivate an engineer like uh, uh, they want to uh do or outdo what already been done improving the technology uh, making society better and carrying on the cultural heritage okay same similar meaning but uh, small changes uh, meaning changes are there sometimes the outside things can also motivate people outside things in the sense uh, what it is given by the government the government says that this is a Uh, research uh, potential area we are working on it uh, the government is working on it uh, anybody who want to contribute uh, they can contribute uh, so they think that uh, if i involved in this particular research field uh, i may get a government job okay one of the reason uh, which i am telling because of the external influences uh, because so that this is something which you want to do that everybody will start uh, doing on that not everybody those are interested because of motivated only because of this reason people are also doing research because the government says uh, this particular research field is very important then uh, even somebody say that uh, the government is funding uh, they giving an job opportunity a central government uh, research center if you take up that particular research work you are getting an uh, resource of income you may get uh, a permanent job also in the government sector or the central government or state government that can get people excited about engineering research at external influences okay so that's about uh, the part 3 a small topic but it is very interesting uh, thank you for watching my video uh, please do subscribe and support many of you are simply watching and going i know i check the status of my youtube channel
90% are simply watching and going they are not uh, subscribing they are watching complete, complete videos but still not subscribing please subscribe and support me uh, so that i'll continue it's a long journey i'm just on to the uh, part 3 of module 1 there are five modules are the some of the modules are uh, very lengthier even uh, i i find that there are more than 12 to 15 topics in a particular module this particular module it has got uh, nine topics so nine videos i'll be preparing uh, individually it will be published in my youtube channel it is there in my youtube channel my intuition 4865 please do uh, watch this youtube channel please do subscribe to the youtube channel please do share this uh, youtube channel information to others so once again thank you very much for being my uh, subscriber thank you very much